my name is Ron. This is my 1997 SC300. The car has a inline six 1JZ GTE with an R154 manual transmission five speed. Purchased this car eight months ago off a coworker of mine. I previously drove a 2003 Bug Eye WRX and uh, I ended up wanting to look for a real drive because I wanted to do a drift build. And I was in the market for like a sort of a decently priced rear wheel drive that wasn't too expensive. And then my friend happened to be selling this car because he purchased a car when I used to work with him. And uh, I was going through Kijiji looking for a rear wheel drive. It was like perfect timing where I sold my car and as soon as I sold my car, I gave the money to him and then the SC300 and I went like straight to Service Ontario, transferred over the ownership and then I've had the car ever since. What I'm planning to do with the car right now, because as of right now, this is just a stock 1JZ GTE with the 5 speed transmission I mentioned earlier. I was planning to do a drift build. So then most likely I'm gonna convert it from the factory twin turbos that it has to a bigger single turbo, possibly twin scroll, because I'm considering the drift build and like what like my needs are, because I'm still like researching, looking for what kind of turbo I want for the car. And uh, other than that, probably just an LSD and maybe even like a hydro e-brake down the line. And that's just about it for, for, for that, I guess for now. What got me in the cars? It all started off when I was in high school. I'm 22. It's been a while since I've been in high school. Everyone's like already like ready, like, oh, I want to go into this. I want to go into that. I honestly didn't know what I wanted to go into, but like I was always in like the auto shop program. I was always in like semi interested into cars, but I just wasn't like all into cars yet. Just looking into cars, reading more about it, doing research about how everything works, how everything's engineered. And I sort of just started my interest off once I got my first car, which was my WX. Started working on it myself, doing a lot of the maintenance work myself, modifications myself. And then as I was working and learning more about cars, I started to like them more and more. And like, I guess like it was all like all the research I've done over time, all the friends that I have that like cars and like the environment I was around that got me to really like cars. Like it built over time. And then here I am now with this 97 SC300 rear wheel drive. How's it going everybody? Today we are in a Lexus SC300. And this one is in stock. Uh, it's actually fitted with a 1JZ GTE swap, which means it's got a twin turbo. And it's also got an R154 tranny in it, uh, which is the better tranny. It's actually the stronger one. And uh, I believe it can push up to 600 horsepower. But this 1J is stock, so it's uh, pushing at about like 280 horsepower at the crank and uh, 285 foot-pounds of torque. So it moves. Well, the SC300 is a little bit of a weird car. Uh, like, not a lot of people know about it, especially up here in Canada. Uh, you don't really see much of these on the road, and most of them that do exist, they're kind of parked up or they don't really start to work. And uh, I understand that because importing parts up here in Canada are really expensive, especially with the US trade as well. So these projects can get super expensive. And uh, this car actually belongs to a, a good buddy of mine, Ron. And uh, he's kind of in the same boat right now. So these builds usually take a lot longer than a regular build would. And the SC300, they're still pretty rare in Canada because most of the cars in this body shell that are actually on the road are the uh, SC400s, which is actually the V8. And the SC300s are really sought after, especially after people understand that it's got a Supra motor into it. So the stock SC300, the way it actually came in Canada was actually fitted with the 2JZ GE, which is still the Supra motor, don't get me wrong, but it's the non-turbo Supra motor, which is kind of a bummer because <laughs> North America always gets all the shitty engines. It's like seeing a 240 on the road. Like it's, you don't really see it as often, but when you do and you know what it is, it's very special. <laughs> so 
So when you do hear the specific SC300 driving past you, it's actually very special because when you hear that 1J and you hear those turbos go off, you know there's something special under the bonnet. And this one used to be automatic actually because you can still see the indicators for the uh, which gear you're in. But when it was swapped in, it was actually made so when you hit the reverse gear, the light actually comes up, which is pretty jokes. Overall, the car is pretty comfortable. Uh, right now, sitting on Neo Motorsport uh, coils, which are, in my opinion, really bad coilovers. I used to actually have them fitted on my uh, RSX, and um, they don't go low, and these particular ones don't have any adjustable dampening, which kind of suffers. But compared to the stock, um, like the OEM struts, this is a lot nicer. But once again, Ron is looking to update it with some BC coils, and that should definitely make the handling a lot better, because, because this car is going to be a drift car eventually. And it's also one of those cars that it's really hard to uh, not go fast in. Because of the turbo, you always want to go fast. You always want to hear those turbo noises. So you're constantly going fast in this car. And like, I completely understand why. And that 1J sound, man. Oh my gosh, it's fucking breathtaking. Overall, the car's really planted. I do wish Ron had better tires on the back. Right now, he's just got some generic cheap tires for the rears, which makes the back end really happy. <laughs> But obviously down the road, he's gonna be changing that as well. It's just to get it moving right now. Yeah, it's like a jet in here. This tranny also, it's very hard to get into gear. Um, Ron tells me that's because of the bushings that he's actually changed. They're supposed to make it easier, but that's not really the case. The speedometer struggles to keep up with the speed. <laughs> it actually jumps up right away, but that's also because the rear tires are losing traction. Woo! Also, the brakes are actually really nice on this one. This one actually has the uh, upgraded SC400 brake system, but the only complaint about the brakes is that Ron actually needs to bleed them, and he's already aware of them, so the brake feels really low. So also the clutch feel, it's also really up top, so it's definitely something you gotta get used to. And also the seating position is really nice in this one. These ones are actually fitted with some Sparco seats and uh, they hold you in really nice. The stock seats that the SC300 actually come with, they're really comfortable. Um, an old 90s car, Lexus has done a pretty good job. The steering position also is really nice as well. Uh, it does have an adjustable, a power adjustable steering. So steering wheel is actually telescopic as well. So I can actually bring the steering wheel closer to me and farther away from me and up and down. Good job, Lexus. Just cruising at like highway speeds, car's still super comfortable. It's nice, guys. It's actually really nice. Yeah, this is a time when Toyota was actually interesting, you know? Like, they used to make some really cool cars. Like, they dropped the IS300, um, this one, the Lexus SC, even the SC400. They had a nice V8 configuration on that one as well. It's still a driver's car, it's still a nice snug feeling in here. The center console also sits nice up and high, so the, the shifter's right where it has to be as well. I'm, I'm digging the car. It's pretty hard to buy a car that you know a lot of people have sitting in their garage because they're having so many issues with. But in Ron's luck, knock on wood, this car has been very problem free and he's loving it. Also guys, thank you so much for watching. I wanna thank Ron for coming out today with his beautifully 1JZ swapped SC300. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share my video uh, with all your buddies as well. If you have a dope car, or if you know someone who has a dope car, uh, feel free to DM me on my Instagram. My Instagram is heaven.cayman. Uh, all the links will be down below. Also make sure to subscribe to my YouTube account because I drop a car review every Sunday. Make sure to hit that bell as well because that bell will let you know exactly when I drop that video. So anyways guys, have a good day guys, be good kids, and take it easy guys. Peace.